Hi, welcome to Sound Yoga. My name is Stephen Russell. I'd like to talk about sitting. Many yoga practices start with sitting on the floor for several minutes. And usually a yoga practice ends with sitting on the floor for several minutes. Of course, a yoga practice is a good way to prepare for sitting in meditation for quite some time. There are several different ways to sit on the floor. It's important to be comfortable. It's important to maintain a vertical spine. And it's important to relax. There are several different ways. One way is the cross-legged position with either foot in front. You can sit with one foot up on the hip. Some people call this half lotus. And then there's both feet up on the opposite hip for full lotus. You can also sit with the feet behind, the knees bent, sitting back on the heels. If I know that I'm going to have to be sitting for more than a minute or two, because of some lower back issues, I know that after uh, not too long, my lower back is going to start to ache. Then, not only will I be in pain, I'll also have no choice but to start rounding my back, and I'll probably end up sitting in something that's not exactly the most healthy way to sit, especially for a long time. Therefore, I sit on a block. Sitting on a block, I can increase the angle between the legs and the upper body, and I can be much more comfortable, especially for a long time. Blocks come in different sizes. Sitting on a block, I can maintain a more natural curve in my lower back as I maintain a vertical spine, and I can relax. You can also sit on a rolled up mat. You can sit on a blanket or even two blankets. And you can sit on a beanbag type cushion. This way I can make it as high as I like can adjust it. I can maintain a vertical spine. I can maintain a more natural curve, especially in my lower back. And I can relax.